Yo, what's up, you guys? It's Bradley here. All right, before this video starts, I'm going to be shouting out an album, all right? This is not sponsored, and the guy has no idea I'm doing it, all right? This is Lil Squeaky's God Mode. Except for I don't think you guys are actually going to care about this because you guys listen to probably nothing but Arctic Monkeys, and from what I've heard so far, Arctic Monkeys has been pretty f The video has been censored to protect the public. This video is the cause of Bradley's sentence to the EU Music Dungeon. The following footage was used in court. This resulted in a reduced sentence on good behavior. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Bradley here. Um, I, um, I said something about Arctic Monkeys a year ago that landed me here. If I, if I could take it back, I would. I just want a second chance, man, please. And so, he was given a second chance. Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino, considered by me to be a fluke, humbug, bland, and uninspired. I have been hated on the internet for my opinion so far on latest Arctic Monkeys, and today I see if that reign of terror ends with their debut album. Whatever people say I am, that's what I'm not. This is their most acclaimed album, and I'm hoping it's gonna be the best album. Quite literally, Humbug made me take a look back at Tranquil Base Hotel and Casino and realize, wait a minute, they always make music that sounds that boring. The only problem is, is that it actually made sense on that album. Now we go back to their debut, and I'm really hoping that this has some sort of life and meaning to it. That I feel like Humbug was just missing completely. So, without further ado, the view from the afternoon. <laughs> Oh, it's actually off to a strong start. Wait a minute, this is actually pretty good. Alex Turner sounds more alive than ever. Wait, this is a legitimate, like, I went into this thing with, like, a running head start, and this is just keeping my momentum going, man. As you won't be surprised, as you won't be God damn it. What did I tell you about calling me while I work? No, 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 no. Whoa, damn. D is it me or did that phone call take like three years? Anyways, back to whatever I was doing before. Wait, the song's. An interesting structure from an Arctic Monkeys track. Wow. Wait, that that felt like a full experience of a track right there. Is especially with the ending. And wow. And then it's like a two-parter and a fake out. All right. I don't even feel like I'm listening to Arctic Monkeys because this is so somewhat interesting. I loved how that was structured, man. Wait, that was, that was fantastic. No complaints. Uh, honestly, I don't know what the hell is going on here lyrically, but that was a fantastic track. And what a great way to start off, man. Alex Turner, he, he brought this energy about him. Like, he, his vocal performance was interesting. Thumbs up. No complaints here, man. Really great start. Uh, I'm actually afraid that the next song... I, I really want this to keep this... Momentum going. I bet you look good on the dance floor. Yo, this is really setting the stage right here. This is so fast paced. Bro, how is 
this a debut album? This, I don't even feel like I'm listening to the same Arctic Monkeys, but I still hear Alex Turner, you know? The energy here is insane. This, it's so exciting. It's so lively. Not every song has to be this fast paced. I, I expect it to slow down a bit. I'm, I'm okay with that. But like, the way that the intro just dragged me in, it was a fantastic hook into this song. It was just pummeling over and over again. This feels one of a kind. This sounds really fucking good. Please keep this up, man. Thumbs up. This is 13 songs, 41 minutes, and it's off to as good of a start as you can get, man. This is a fucking debut album, man. It's only downhill from here. Fake Tales of San Francisco. All right, we got a funky track. I love how raw this is recorded also. I think a big problem I had with Humbug was just I really hated the effects that were on Alex Turner's voice throughout the entire album that just cheapened it. But him just sounding so raw here just adds to the aesthetic so much, man. I mean, I just reviewed Room on Fire, okay? And I, I was very harsh towards a lot of the middle tracks. It felt like it got stale, it got really repetitive, and I just kind of tuned it out. This is demanding my attention so far. I'm, I'm strapped in, I'm hooked, man. I, I, I'm done talking. All right, we keep going. <laughs> This isn't real, man. Th bro, this, this, oh my God, the sound of this is amazing. Like, I, I, I'm i actually speechless. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. I, I don't know what the hell to say, man. Um, I just wanna keep listening. I'm, I'm in it right now, dancing shoes. Dancing shoes, there's one thing on your mind. All right, it's a little groovier here. Open that looking for you. I guess you gotta have kind of a lower key. Here. Song has some flavor. This song has so much flavor, man. For like, this is what I would expect a song called Dance Issues to sound like. Like, I can't even argue with the, with the sound of this, man. It's so groovy, it's so funky, it's so danceable. Shit, they're even doing these kinds of tracks justice, man. Alex Turner sounds fantastic on this album, by the way. Like, his voice is amazing over this. His lyrics are pretty decent too, from what I've been like picking up. These tracks is incredible, man. I'm blown away. This is Arctic Monkeys. This is, there's so much detail, and like every song is so like well constructed. It there's so many moving pieces, man. I I it doesn't stay on like a singular idea for too long. It is constantly moving forward, and every idea it's having sounds amazing. I love how heavy this is, man. I, I'm listening to this album so loud. You guys probably can tell. It's probably clipping out of. Kingdom, whatever. Um, wow. Uh, I'm gonna keep going. Thumbs up. Absolutely thumbs up. Um, next one. You probably couldn't see the uh, the lights, but you were staring straight at me. 
Okay. Like, I'm not in this track, like, I didn't get pulled into this one the same way, but it's so dynamic that it's like, even if I don't immediately get pulled in, it does some crazy shit like, it, like that, and then it's just like, boom, I'm back in the track. It never feels like I'm away for too long. Alright, that song didn't feel nearly as complete as the other ones. Um, it has some interesting ideas in it. I still feel like it's way more creative than anything I'd heard uh, from Arctic Monkeys following this. This is this just sounds fantastic. I, I really can't say much more than this just sounds fantastic. The sound of this just just capturing me so much. But whenever I do tune into the lyrics, there's something happening. Like it isn't just word fucking Jenga, you know? That song was heavy. That song had a bunch of crazy shit. I loved it in, in the middle there. This part, you know, where it was like, bum, 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 bum. And it was like, a, I don't know, it went something like that. that ah, man, I still gotta give it the thumbs up. I didn't think it was as good as the other tracks, but it's still thumbs up. It's still really good. Still take you home. I'm kind of scared. Oh, fuck, what am I getting? So every song is used in very similar tricks, but those tricks are really good for this kind of music. Specifically, cutting off everything and bringing it back in sends like this rush. I mean, I'm not sick of it. We're, we're six tracks in and it's obvious that this is something being used a lot, but it's so tasteful. It's such a good flavor to these songs. I cannot complain here because it just sounds amazing and I'm, I'm not bored. It has nothing to do with how fast it is. It has to do with the application to the genre. Like, I'm not supposed to feel a psychedelic feeling here. I'm supposed to feel a rush, and I feel a fucking rush right now. Let's go, man. It's getting focused. Let's go. I mean, this this is this make my job easy, man. This music speaking for itself. This sound is so refreshing. I mean, damn. This is so good. This is like, this is about as like high level as you get for something like this. <laughs> I'm I'm so impressed. I I no words. Next song, Riot Van. I have no no lack of confidence in you anymore, Alex Turner. You've you've shown you've shown me you got it. Alright, slow down. Look, I need to slow down right now. So this is perfect for me. These are ones they should avoid. Laugh just for the laugh. And please just stop talking. Man, if you you know what? I really appreciate this track. I don't think it's the one of the better ones on here, but it is insanely necessary. So seeing this coming, it's like, you know, it's a given. As soon as we tell the story that I'm talking over. From what I did here though, I did like the lyrics. Um, that was a really sweet cooldown. It's got me more mellowed out. I think it very successfully did what it set out to do. And I gotta give it another thumbs up, man. I'm, Alex Turner's playing my hand here. Like, like I can't. It's not even fair at this point, man. He's he's doing everything right. I I swear to God, man. It's fucking Alex Turner doing everything right. That's I'm I'm all for it, man. Keep it going. That was a great cooldown. I'm I'm back I'm back to a mellow feeling. I gotta sneeze. 
So now that it's gone through an insane cocaine rush, uh, and it's gotten to this cool down, this album can essentially take two different directions. It could either get back into feeling really intense, uh, like speeding at the top of... I didn't really think about how to phrase that. If it's a cool down, I'm also okay for that because I have so much trust in this album. Arctic Monkeys essentially have shown me that they can keep a song engaging whether it be fast paced or slow paced on this album. Will this album slow down to a halt and become complete dog shit? Or will it keep up the momentum? And Bradley, of course, me, will, uh, will enjoy the rest of it. Who knows? I guess you just gotta wait until part two comes out, all right? That was part one, first half of this album. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, yeah.